that way or that way, not this way. Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and you are watching Triple R Farms and it is Tuesday, March the 5th. Can you believe it's already March? It's here guys. Um, let me get you caught up on what we did Monday. Okay, so Monday, me and PA worked on the uh, fertilizer rig. Yes, you heard me right. I said PA. PA is going to be running this machine for us this year. Um, so what we did is uh, we filled it up with water, we took it across in the valley, folded it out, and ran it up and down a hay field to simulate like we were running, going through the field and actually putting out fertilizer. And everything looked great. We kept the three stream tips in. That's the one we went with. They just worked the best. We got about a six inch wide pattern on all the rows. Um, if I had to say something I didn't quite like about it, is it's, I'm just running, I'm a little bit lower. These tubes are running about eight inches off the ground, which is fine, um, but you really gotta watch it as you're going through the field to make sure we don't bend them up. If we have to raise these up, which we can, we just loosen two bolts and uh, these tubes will raise up. We can raise them up and angle the nozzle like everybody said in the comments if we need to get them higher. But right now, everything looks perfect on it and everything's working. We just don't know where to send the rig. Uh, the conditions in the field are still a little damp, um, so we really don't know where to send it, and we're supposed to get some rain this afternoon. So for right now, she's going to stay at the shop. So James was getting the white Volvo hooked up to the fertilizer rig and uh, checking all the tires out and stuff. We got it full of 28.005, so that's what he was working on the other day. Which brings us to the Rogator. This is what I was working on. If you remember in the last video, me and Thomas were working on the pump. Finally got the old pump in. Uh, they got it repaired. But what I needed was the fittings off the old pump. We took the fittings off and put it on this new one. Hooked the hydraulic lines up. And we tried it the other day and everything works perfect on it. So, Rogator is back to working condition. Which brings us to today. Uh, PA has gone over to Togaville. We got two oil changes to do over there on the pivot motors. He's gonna go do those. And uh, also he's gonna change out the air filters uh, on the pivots over there. So he's gonna be over there for a while. Uh, me and dad are headed over there in the valley uh, to my track hoe. We were working on a crossing where the pivot uh, crosses a ditch. We put in two culverts, but I need to adjust one of them a little bit, he said. And then we got to walk the pivot to where it goes across that same ditch in another spot to make sure we don't need to put a culvert in. So me and dad are going to be over there. James, I don't know what James is doing. What is he doing? Oh yeah, he's going to be uh, taking the blue freight liner and hooking up to our other tanker that uh, we're going to have water in. He's going to get it all hooked up and uh, fill it up with water. He's gonna check the tires out on it and make sure the trailer's DOT and all that. Make sure that truck and trailer uh, are ready to go. That's all I know right now, so you guessed it. Let's get this baby started. Look, you can grab grab some more dirt right here because this this is having to do that. And it's, I grab some of this dirt and put on there. The black pipe is fine. The other one we're gonna slide about that far. Be tight, getting under this pivot.
So we got these two culverts, we got that corrected. When we put these in, we were kind of guessing where the pivot was gonna go across, and it actually came a little closer this way than we thought. So we moved the culvert this way, added some more dirt, got it smoothed off, cut the ditch where it wasn't such a tight bend right there where it wouldn't try to undermine that pipe. Uh, when I walk back out of here, I'll come back and smooth this out and make that look a little prettier. And that. What I did right here, I filled in a ditch that was not necessary. It had created a new ditch that came down the field and then it came in right here. I just filled that in and I uh, made it go in down there where it originally used to jump back in this ditch. And I'll smooth this off when I come back out of here. That's what I thought. Well, the pivot is almost down to the ditch and uh, just judging where it is right now, I think this is the old track right here and uh, it's lined up just right where my hand is. So anyway, this crossing's gotten too bad. Uh, so we are gonna have to put a pipe in right here. We got one at a farm up there at Tyler doing nothing. Uh, we're gonna go grab it, but it's plenty big, plenty long enough, and uh, we need to put it in right here because this has gotten really bad over the years. I don't know how it was even crossing, but we're gonna walk it right down to the edge and we'll cut that valve off and hopefully she'll stop. And then we'll have to go get the other pipe and uh, bring it right here and fix this crossing. <sighs> So what you do is we got a ball valve right here. You can turn that off. And what that does, it stops this end tower from moving. And then that'll keep the whole pivot from walking. It'll just stop. And I think that's close enough for me. Let's stop it. Yeah, we got it right to the edge. And it stopped. So everything worked perfect. Cal, look what I just walked by. I didn't even see it. That way. The other way. That way or that way. Not this way. this way. Quit fighting me. I'm trying to get you to go this way, buddy. Out of the road. We got a tractor coming.
Oh man, it's starting to rain. That's not good. I don't know if y'all can see PA. He's a little bitty dot down there by the pivot shed. Um, he's walking down there to crank up that motor. I'm gonna be down here on the end of the pivot, uh, making sure we don't go in reverse, making sure it swaps direction and goes back forward because we got no room for air. It is right on the edge of that ditch. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. All right, you got the motor? Yep. All right, on the yellow box on the pivot out there on the concrete pad, open it up and turn that toggle switch to uh, stop. Yeah, I got it open, got the switch to stop. All right, now you're ready to um, crank it up. And when, after you crank it up, I, I was telling you reverse, we, we wanna go forward, not reverse. We need to go forward. So before you click that toggle from stop to run, make sure on your screen, you've swapped it to forward. Okay. And then when it says forward on the screen, then you can uh, hit that toggle switch to run. And if anything goes wrong, I can cut this valve off down here and stop it. So. Okay. All right. So, so that's, it, needs, it needs to go clockwise towards your truck. Forward. Right. Forward going clockwise. Yeah. Okay. How, for, how long you may let it run? Just leave it running and come down there? Yeah, leave it running and come down here because I can cut it off with this valve and it'll shut the motor off. Okay. Should I bring my truck around and just walk down there? Probably just walk. Okay. All right, man. Here we go. Cross your fingers. All right. All right. He's cranked up. He's swapping it to, from reverse to forward. And he's going to click that toggle switch and we ought to start walking that way. What's going on, PA? I feel like something's going wrong. Well, that went perfect. We're going the right way. We didn't flip the pivot. And uh, now we can get to work with the track hoe. So we got the pipe in, but we're gonna need a lot of dirt uh, to make this a smooth transition going over the culvert and back down. It's just, I didn't want to dig this out any deeper because uh, then your pipe, half your pipe will be on, filled in with sand and stuff. But anyway, we just got a lot of dirt we gotta move and make this ramp perfect and on the other side. So that's what PA is doing. He's coming over here 
when we originally dug this ditch we stockpiled the dirt all along this side of the ditch so we got plenty of dirt all along the edge of the field we just got to move it from point a to point b i'm gonna go grab my track hoe and bring it down here and be kind of smoothing out uh what they're bringing james is bringing the loader uh the kwatsu loader so he's coming all the way around and he's gonna be digging dirt and hauling too so i'll have pa and james hauling and then i'll be smoothing starting to look like something now pretty much got the other side done uh, that's how it looks good good and packed hard all we gotta do is work on this little bit right here I need a little dirt over there and then just kind of level this off right here and get it good and packed hard and then make a steady ramp all the way to about right here once we get to right here we're done Looking good. Well guys, we're done. Just in time, it's starting to pour. But uh, yeah, it looks good. We got a smooth transition from right here, going up over the pipe onto the other side and then down to level ground. Did a fantastic job. PA and James were right on it bringing dirt. I never had to wait on it. They did an excellent job and it looks like it. So uh, yeah, you can mark this one off the list. But we'll definitely have to check it after we get some big rains uh, to make sure we don't have some undermining or some breakouts anywhere um, before we walk the pivot across. But I'd say right now, she looks good. So yeah, I think it's a great time to go ahead and wrap up this video because I'm getting soaking wet. And I just want to thank y'all for watching another video with us. We really appreciate y'all watching our videos, especially the ones who make it all the way to the end. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, thanks y'all for uh, hanging in there with us. Um, corn planting. I wish I could tell y'all when we're going to start. All I know is we're getting closer and closer. Whenever the land dries out after these uh, next couple of rain episodes, we're going to be putting seed in the ground. I guarantee you that. So stay tuned for those videos coming up because they'll be a little bit more exciting. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm soaking wet. See y'all on the next one, guys. We're out. <laughs>